The Bachelor of Fine Arts program at Mecca offers students a four-year degree in one of ten areas of study. Each year, the program recognizes outstanding student artists with the BFA awards. Tom talked with two of the winners, Joshua Yerges and David Twiss, about their work and the program. Josh, David, thanks for joining us. You're both BFA show award winners at the Maine College of Art this year. And before we get into your particular projects, could you describe for people who might not know what the um, BFA show is all about? Um, the BFA show is an art show that the school puts on every year. And it is for students to have the opportunity to win scholarships, um, as well as studio visits with local artists around town. And the scholarships are usually uh, funded by outside donors um, that either had kids go to the school before or they just really appreciate the arts and they want to give um, art students more of an opportunity to pursue their higher learning. Sounds like a real great way to get your art exposed and get some more opportunities. So um, Josh, could you briefly describe, you had a performance piece, right? Yes, it was a performance installation. Um, the uh, the work was inspired by an incident that happened to me when I was around the age of 10. Um, living in the South, we, uh, my family went to a very a non-denominational, charismatic, overzealous church and um, who prayed in tongues regularly during service. And the, uh, the praying in tongues would usually last between 15 minutes to half an hour. And at the end, uh, someone was called upon at random um, to have been chosen by God to interpret what had been said by the entire congregation. And uh, one time when I was around the age of 10, I was called upon um, by the pastor and uh, you know, all eyes were on me and I had, I had nothing to say. It was, a, it was an experience that I carried with me and, and still do. Um, and uh, so the the performance was about the weight of the experience still being with me and um, it was a uh, it was an interesting um, experience to uh, to go through um, being at Mecca has sort of pushed me in a direction to focus on subject matter that otherwise I would shy away from, mm -hmm. um, personal and, and not. And um, this project was uh, the product of that. It's great when art can also help process things that happen in our own lives. And this happened to you as a child. And I understand that your project, too, has to do with the experiences of children, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, my project had to do um, dealt with emotions of like violence and anger and fear and how these emotions pertain to children in the home and how they're easily overlooked or not really overlooked but underestimated by adults or parents and so I use the form of um, childhood things things that children normally interact with to display these uh, emotions it's, it's great to hear about what inspires your art, but it would be so much better to actually see it, and I think we might have some images of that. But just overall, what does the, the BFA program mean to you? What, 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 what does that do for your, your career and where you're going? Uh, for myself, thus far, it's just, it's given me in a, a way to explore interests that I didn't know I had, and um, has given me an opportunity to pursue things and to learn about subject matter and practices and skills that um, that I'm wanting to incorporate in my art. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's been very positive. And David, how, how has it been for you? Oh, it's, it's definitely been very positive. The faculty is very open and really helpful in the way of helping you make the things that you want to make. So they don't try to make you focus in on one certain discipline so it really helps you be like more of a well-rounded artist and for me I want to go into education so seeing this way of um, teaching and being more flexible on the way people want to make is really kind of helping me develop the way I want to 
also teach. That flexibility is really important for the creative process. Mm -hmm. So if people wanted more information about your art, you each have websites. What, what, how would they access them? What, what are the websites? Sure. Uh, my, my website is joshuayurgis.com. And I just have a blog that people can go to. It's just davidtwist at wordpress.com. Well, like I said, you know, it's better to actually see the art. So if people watching this, I hope they have the opportunity to get over to Mecca and see what you've done. Uh, mm -hmm. Congratulations, and thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.